China became popular again. Brazil asked China to build a cross-sea bridge worth 15.4 billion, making it the largest bridge in Latin America. Let's take a closer look in this video. Because China's infrastructure capabilities are well known, many countries that want to build large-scale infrastructure projects but do not have the capabilities themselves, have begun to seek help from China, including Brazil in South Americas. As one of the BRIC countries, Brazil has always attached great importance to infrastructure development and proposed many construction plans. The most famous of these is the Salvador Bridge. The difficulty of building this bridge is unimaginable. However, China infrastructure construction previously repaired a Japanese-built bridge for Brazil and gained Brazil's trust, so it handed over the project to China. China plans to spend five years and 15.4 billion yuan to build the longest sea crossing bridge for Brazil. So how difficult is this sea crossing bridge? After the construction of the bridge, what convenient conditions have been brought to the Brazilian people? Brazil had planned to build a sea crossing bridge before, but after inspecting the strength of the famous domestic bridge builders, they found that they could not complete this arduous task with their own strength. This left the inspecting people speechless for a moment. As a country with the largest land area and comprehensive national strength in South America, it can't even build a sea crossing bridge. Just when they thought there was no hope of building a bridge, a designer asked why not invite China to try it? The proposal made Brazilians' eyes light up. China's development speed and strength in recent years are obvious to all, especially in the construction of sea crossing bridges. The Hong Kong, Zhuhai, Macau Bridge is the best example, so this project can be safely handed over to the Chinese engineering team. But to be cautious, the local government still conducted a public tender. However, after other countries came to the site for inspection, they expressed their shortcomings tactfully. In the end, it was the Chinese engineering team that turned the tide and lived up to expectations by taking over the El Salvador Sea Crossing Bridge project. In November 2020, China Railway Construction 20th Bureau Group and China Communications Construction Company Limited signed a construction contract with the Bahia State Government of Brazil, marking that the largest sea crossing cable stayed bridge in Latin America has officially entered the construction stage. The total line length of the project is 46.8 kilometers, of which 12.4 kilometers are sea crossing bridges. It was the largest infrastructure project won by a Chinese company in Brazil at that time. And Brazil is not stingy and has prepared 15.4 billion for the Salvador Bridge to make the bridge a star project in Brazil. Why does Brazil attach so much importance to the Salvador Bridge and spend a lot of money to build it? Because after the completion of the Salvador Bridge, it would connect the city of Salvador and Itaparica in Brazil. One of these two cities is the second largest industrial center in Brazil, and the other is a tourist attraction in Brazil. Since there is no sea crossing passage between the two cities, they can only face each other across the sea. If residents on one side want to reach the other shore, they can only choose ferry or road detours. Although the speed is slightly faster, once there is a peak tourist period or rough weather, the ferry will form a long queue, and the wait may last for several hours. If they choose to drive around, they will also waste time on the road. At the same time, such terrain also restricts the development of surrounding cities leading to uneven economic development in coastal cities, thus triggering a series of urban development problems. So the local government planned to build a sea crossing bridge to improve local traffic problems. 
This has also been the wish of residents in the two places for many years. After the completion of the Salvador Bridge, it would greatly improve the living and work efficiency of the surrounding residents, reduce the time wasted on the road, and the time-consuming and laborious ferry crossing will become a thing of the past. Most importantly, the Salvador Bridge would connect two important ports in Brazil. Most of Brazil's economic center and domestic market are concentrated in the southeastern region, and the Bay Bridge would be able to drive the economic development of other cities in the future. Therefore, this bridge is of great significance both for economic development and for improving people's livelihood. As a result, the local government has very high requirements on the quality of the bridge and absolutely no problems are allowed. So can the Chinese engineering team successfully complete this challenge? Brazil spent 15.4 billion to ask China to help them build a bridge, but this money is not easy to earn. Although Brazil is one of the five BRICS countries in the world and its economic development has been very good in recent years, its industrial strength is somewhat weak and it does not have the ability to build large-scale infrastructure projects on its own. And the construction of the Salvador Bridge has been planned for a long time. Construction has been delayed due to infrastructure technology. Because the Salvador Bridge is a super-large sea-crossing bridge, the scale of the project can match that of China's Hong Kong, Zhuhaimacau Bridge, and there are even some places where the difficulty is higher. Finally, after layers of competition, the Chinese company relied on its strong strength to defeat other competitors and won the big order from Brazil. The next step was the on-site inspection by the Chinese engineering team to prepare for the start of construction. In order to build the El Salvador Bridge into a star project in Brazil, The Chinese engineering team also came up with the technology of pressing the bottom of the box. After detailed investigation and demonstration, the engineering team found that although the El Salvador Bridge was not as long as the Hong Kong Zhuhaimacau Bridge, it was also quite difficult. Because the geological and hydrological conditions of this Brazilian sea area are very special, especially the deepest sea area where the Salvador Bridge is located reaches 60 meters, which is 10 meters deeper than the Hong Kong Zhuhaimacau Bridge. In order to take into account both the bearing capacity and the aesthetic effect, the main cable stayed tower of the El Salvador Bridge is 205 meters high, 12 meters higher than the Hong Kong Zhuhaimacau Bridge. In addition, the sea area to which the bridge belongs is very busy with shipping and is an important shipping route. This requires that the bridge should not affect normal maritime navigation after it is completed. Therefore, the height from the Salvador Bridge to the sea was set at 86 meters, which is far higher than the Hong Kong Zhuhaimacau Bridge. It can be said that the El Salvador Bridge is not inferior to the Hong Kong Zhuhaimacau Bridge in terms of construction difficulty and construction requirements except that it is not as long as the Hong Kong Zhuhaimacau Bridge. In order to ensure the quality and quantity of the Chinese engineering team and deliver the project on time, the engineers summed up the construction experience of the Hong Kong Zhuhaimacau Bridge while adapting measures to local conditions based on the results of field inspections. It was decided to adopt the hydraulic climbing formwork construction scheme with folding and bending to build the most difficult cable, stayed tower, and combined with auxiliary schemes such as elaborate skeleton suspension brackets to ensure the quality and safety of the bridge. Although Chinese tried their best to have everything in every aspect before the start of construction, some problems still appeared during the construction. Because both the water depth construction of the bridge and the construction difficulty of the main cable-stayed tower are extremely rare in world engineering. 
The pier wall of the bridge is designed to be only 30 centimeters, and the middle must remain hollow. This rare structure has extremely high requirements for construction technology. While the engineers were studying solutions, the construction team on the other side also encountered a difficult problem. It turned out that the blasting team found that the rock was too deep and it was difficult to blast without affecting other projects. When the engineers dispatched from Brazil saw these problems, they were at a loss for a while, and some of them had even never encountered them in their careers. However, the Chinese engineers did not panic after summarizing the problems, but immediately notified the engineering personnel of various departments to gather. Everyone expressed their opinions and proposed various improved processes in their own fields. Then these suggestions were summarized one by one, and the corresponding solutions and next step construction process were quickly proposed. This series of operations stunned the Brazilian engineers on the sidelines. Although they have heard that China's infrastructure is very powerful, they did not expect it to be so powerful. It is indeed worth spending 15.4 billion to ask China to build this difficult bridge. After completion, the bridge will become the longest sea-crossing cable stayed bridge in Latin America directly connecting the northern and southern cities across the sea. In the future, residents living in El Salvador will only need 25 minutes to reach Itapalica Island through the bridge, completely bidding farewell to the unchanged shipping and land transportation modes that detour more than 200 kilometers. And with the completion of the bridge, it will also bring about synchronous improvement of infrastructure facilities and public services, bringing new economic growth to the entire Salvador Bridge area. Whether it is tourism, logistics or commerce and agriculture, it will be improved with the improvement of transportation. It can be said that the construction of the Salvador Bridge is of great significance to Brazil, so what benefits can China gain from it? The most direct one is engineering. However, in addition to these, the construction of the Salvador Bridge is also an opportunity for Chinese infrastructure to enter the South American market. Although China's infrastructure has won many foreign orders in recent years, most of them are concentrated in Southeast Asia and Africa. In the faraway Americas, especially South America, China's infrastructure involvement is still very small. As the largest country in South America, Brazil is also the country with the most infrastructure needs. If China can win their Salvador Bridge project, it will definitely serve as a positive example and let Brazil and South American countries see the strength of China's infrastructure. It can be said that the construction of the El Salvador Bridge is also an opportunity to promote Chinese infrastructure to the Americas, while also strengthening win-win cooperation between China and South American countries. What are your thoughts on this? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.